start with the punk mentality, reject conformist society, challenge the status quo and always push the boundaries. Then take the essentials of fine dining, exquisite ingredients, highly trained chefs and attentive service. Now put the two together and Dios mio, you have our restaurant for today, Diverso. Welcome to Madrid, known for its rich traditions, party nightlife and football fever. In the city's north end you will find the NH Collection Euro Building Hotel, inside is Diverso. The chef responsible for this wild and crazy place is Dabiz Munoz. Born in Madrid in 1980, he was inspired to become a chef after his first fine dining experience totally rocked his world. He was just 12 years old and from that point on Dabiz was fascinated with cooking. After culinary school he ended up in London and for six years worked at top Asian restaurants like Nobu and Hakasan. It was here he had a big, bold idea. Open a restaurant with groundbreaking cuisine where anything is possible. He calls it Diverso, Spanish for diverse, with the EXO coming from the famous EXO sauce from Hong Kong that Dubis loves. It opens in 2007 and in 2013 becomes the first three Michelin star restaurant in Madrid. Ten years later, Diverso is still the only three star in the city. And on world's 50 best restaurants list, they sit at number three. In 2019, Chef Munoz at sommelier Miguel Angel Milan to the team. In 2023, he won the Baronia World's Best Sommelier Award. In 2021, Dubis was named the Best Chef at the World's Best Chef Awards. He took the title again last year. From the outside, the building doesn't scream fine dining. And that's kinda what we expect. We find a revolving door and make our way into the Diverso dimension. First impression? It's bored. It's bunkers. And it's fucking brilliant. We're welcome to a table by two gentlemen. Two ants and a wavy pig, with a mohawk and a spike collar. The mood is set to light and playful. You can't see it, but I'm smiling from ear to ear. Kitsch, creative and courageous is how I would describe the interior. The punk mentality is in full force. The tables are really nice, but everything else has a grunge feel. The clothes of the staff are as extravagant as the place. The dining spaces are separated by floored ceiling curtains that put you in your own area with lots of room. The champagne list is in a league of its own. They have almost anything you could want. Some heavy hitters like Dom Perignon B3. Some rare veterans like a 61 Come de Champagne. I love it. Me too. We start with a glass of Krug from 2006. Thank you, sir. There is only one option on the menu. Taste the menu, which is called the Flying Pigs Piscine. It's described as a journey through the hedonistic, greedy, and creative world of Dubby's Munoz. It's avant garde cuisine where everything is possible for 365 euros. There are two wine pairings to choose from. The wine pairing selection for 300 euros and the high flight wine pairing for 600. Here I need to come clean. I went to Diverso with a friend who is also a good friend of the chef, so they didn't let us pay for this experience. I know that nobody around the Christmas tree is completely honest after they open a gift. But I will try to be objective and give my honest opinion. Our first appetizer is called Walk on Coals, a veggie roller coaster. It's spinach, glazed and wok toasted on hot coals, with burrata, kale, watercress and sorrel with sancho pepper. On the side is organic Rio Frio caviar. It's finished with a floral cream sauce. At first bite I'm hit with a flood of flavors, textures and temperatures. Impressive first dish. They bring out the wok to show us how it's done. Sommelier Miguel pairs it with a high quality Chenin Blanc with tons of acidity. Before our next course, we are invited to try a special sake, available exclusively through Driverso. It's Jumai Daiginjo, the highest grade of sake. It has notes of cotton candy and melon and it's super smooth. Our next course is called Spicy Pizza Margarita. It's frozen mozzarella from goat's milk, drizzled with a sour and spicy consomme of tomatoes, aged cherry vinegar and Thai basil. It's acidic, cold, crunchy and pure genius. I love this added touch of service here at Diverso. Before every dish, they give you a card with all the ingredients listed. Our next dish is called raw sweet chili sauce. First, we have sweet and sour prawns from Spain. The heads are fried and the bodies are raw. In the syringe is a melipona honey from Mexico. 
Nalipona are a stingless type of bee with a unique honey that has been used for centuries for its healing properties. The prongs are fresh and fatty with a nice chili flavor. Together, they are sensational. The wine pairing is a French Riesling known for its elegance and lightness. Next is something called street food exo in two parts. The first is yakisoba, made with aspardinias instead of noodles. It's prepared with homemade soya sauce, with quail juices and ginger. The second part is quail tataki, sea urchin and lily bulb. The sea urchin and the quail go surprisingly well together. The soya sauce and ginger make the flavors stand out. All I can say is I really like it. Miguel has a wine pairing with the Spanish Palomino wine. It's intense and outstanding. Next, another street food exo. It's served with french fries and spicy ketchup from tree tomatoes, goat's milk butter berenesa and karashi mustard. The creativity is a 10 out of 10. Flavor-wise, it's leaning towards sweet with strong umami and a hint of spiciness. With it is a vintage 1992 Champagne Fleury Extra Brew. Next is crab with exo kimchi. It's blue crab in palm sugar and rice vinegar brine, toasted shell oil, homemade ice kimchi and tamale emulsion with barbecue strawberries. The delicate seafood flavor is offset nicely with sweet, smoky and nutty flavors. With it comes a 2008 Riesling from German producer Dr. Berklin Wolf. Our next course is called Torti Yaki. It's a fusion of Spanish tortilla and Japanese takoyaki. Inside is a wedgie broth made from cabbage and spinach. Because of the liquid inside, they recommend eating it in one bite. At the base, you have a typical broth from Galicia that we make with vegetables and Galician barbecues. It's paired with a 2016 Rioja blend red wine from Spain. Another excellent choice by Sommelier Miga. The courses just keep on coming. The next one is called Exo Sauce Iberian version. On the left is dried scallop and Shaolongbao dumpling. On the right is essence of red prawn, which is the head of the prawn cooked for one minute. On the spoon we have Genoa M with shallots, garlic and plankton powder. The wine pairing is a vintage Chateau Chalon from 1982. At this point it's time for a pit stop. To get to the toilet I'm told to follow the butterflies. I love the creativity. Our next course is a crispy Iberian suckling pig sandwich. It's a cold cut from the head of suckling pig with pecorino cheese, cured goose yolk and homemade sriracha. It's complemented with peppercorns and black chanterelle pasta sauce. I love the juicy tender pork with the sharp pecorino cheese. It's paired with the 2013 Lemuse from California. It's a dense juicy red that is a perfect match for this dish. Our next creation is called 45 day aged nigiri and Pyrenean ecosystem. Another complex dish with a remarkable range of textures, featuring ingredients and techniques from all over the world. The wine with this dish is a 2014 Sori San Lorenzo from Gaia, one of Italy's most famous wine producers. I can't get enough of the decor. I'm a fan of Salvador Dali and I think Dabiz is too. After all, the famous artist was from Spain and even attended art school here in Madrid. Our next dish is warm sashimi with upside down fried baby eels, clams velute, a riesling, enoki mushrooms and grilled sepietta. The baby eels have been frozen at minus 40 degrees for one minute, creating a unique taste and texture. There is a beautiful umami flavor in the clam sauce. This is a top contender. Our wine this time is a sorte antiga from Spanish producer Rafael Palicias. We are over half finished this menu and at this point I have run out of words. It's a very powerful experience. Next is a dish called duck variety. We have duck foie grilled and roasted, crispy flame grilled tongue and brains marinated in duck juice. I never knew duck brain tasted so good. It's super fatty and full of herb and spice. The pairing is a 2016 from Louis Perez. The Spanish sherry wine is sweet and acidic and would be great on its own. Our next course is Tornado Rossini of Red Bream with sake and shirako. Tornado's Rossini is a French dish that combines steak with foie gras. Here at Diverso, they reimagine it 
using only fish. It's roasted red bream, aged for two days in sake, in a spicy red wine lemon sauce, and topped with slightly roasted shirako. On the side is cappuccino flowers dressed with pure blum. Shirako is a delicacy from Japan, which is the male counterpart of caviar. That's right, fish semen. It's hand harvested from all types of fish and other sea creatures. But it's not just an Asian thing. In the rest of the world, it's known as fish milk. Besides fine dining, it's common in Italy and Russia. It's paired with a wine that is another big one, a 1994 Corton Chalamet Grand Cru. The Chardonnay from the famous Burgundy region is well regarded and highly rated. This next course is called the Ages of Hake. First we have three months old hake with head and bones. Then it's one year old hake with yellow algae. And finally, eight year old hake with the emulsion of the fish head with Tahiti lime dressing. The creativity goes to new heights here. Same type of fish, three totally different flavors and textures. The wine pairing was a syrup from 2009. Just when you thought the chef was out of creativity comes most roosters too. It's rooster drumsticks, thighs and cum in yellow mole tree chili with Kalunga faba beans in a beer blonde of its own emulsion. Then we have a corn taco with chard and squash blossoms. It comes with the vintage Imperial Grand Reserva Cosecha from 1976. Coming into the home stretch, we have blonde beef, pancha pepper and mushrooms served on the steer horn. It's tender, juicy, succulent and packed with sour, spicy and umami flavor. The wine is a 2016 Claude de Vougeot Grand Cru. Our first dessert is a wine from way back. It's a 1955 from Saint Croix de Mont in the southern part of Bordeaux. This producer brand has been making wine here for six generations. Our next dessert is called Vanilla Cauliflower. It's sour Greek yogurt and cured egg yolk with Peruvian chuncho chocolate. It's a decadent royal cluster of sweet and sour flavors with crunchy and smooth textures. The pairing is a Tokayasu sweet wine from 1972. This famous Hungarian wine is still made with century-old technology and was said to be the favorite of Thomas Jefferson and King Louis XIV. It's kind of funny that I'm from Hungary, yet I had to travel to Madrid to taste the oldest Hungarian wine of my life. That brings us to the final wine pairing a 2002 Riesling from the famous Mosul region of Germany. This completes the holy trinity of sweet wines. France, Hungary and now Germany. The Riesling is paired with our final course for today, toasted butter risotto. It's made with truffle, Madeira wine spaghetti and black olive cookies. It's a delicious swan song to the diverso experience. As a last goodbye, we have the petit fours. Cheesecake, a traditional wild bonbon and cookies dunked in milk. Nice nostalgic touch at the very end. What can I say about Diverso? My mind is officially blown. In so many ways, this is different of what we are used to on this channel. The punk theme is beautiful in its imperfection, especially the rustic elements. I love the diverse mix of ingredients, the funky creations and different serving methods from all over the world. It makes it less of a meal and more of an ambitious food adventure. One special part of my diverse experience has to be the wine pairing. I felt like a time traveler, stepping back through history. This pairing is one of the best I have ever had. The diverse experience has pushed the boundaries from start to finish, proving nothing is impossible and with enough dedication and hard work, pigs can fly. Before we go, we get some face time with Chef Davis. He tells us his plans to extend the diverse experience to include a lounge in a new 2,000 square foot space. He admits it's hard to find a balance between family and business, but the best is yet to come. And whatever happens, he assures us it will not be boring. And that does it for this episode. Thank you for joining me. If you like this video, hit subscribe. See you next time. You can call me stupid. Yeah.